Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install HomeBridge on Proxmox. This makes it where you can give dedicated resources to your HomeBridge, and HomeBridge is a, uh, it lets you install non-HomeKit certified devices at, to your HomeBridge, then it'll bridge to the Home app, uh, and you scan the QR code just like normal. Um, so, a little bit about this series is I'm going to go over smart home from scratch. That's where you install all the software and then to the home automation part and getting everything set up. And um, I, a little bit about my home is I have 800 plus devices and I've been building it with my dad for years and uh, and or just trying to show people how to do it and get people started. So if you like it, subscribe, comment, like, and let's get started. So we're going to start out on the HomeBridge website, and this is for HomeKit support for the patient. That means that non-HomeKit certified devices can work and be able to be linked in your Home app with the QR code. And um, it works with Ring, Nest, Nest Cameras, TP-Link, Hue, Decons, Zigbee, Belkin, Wemo, MyQ, and Unify Protect. You can search all the plugins right here. And um, you, you'll be able to control your lights, temperature, things like that from Siri when you import those devices inside here. Got a simple interface. And then the installation methods, uh, they recommend Raspberry Pi, but today we're going to be installing on Proxmox. Um, I did do a video on installing it on Docker, uh, so you can see that in the description and go to it if you'd like. So... Let's go to the helper script. So this link will be down in the description so you can go to it really quick. Type in their home bridge and then here, here's the helper script that you'll be running. Before you run this, make sure you go over here, look at the code on what it's running. I'm going to go in and install. Then I'll go up here to, uh, and type, and type in a home bridge and then I'll go to the CT directory first and you can see that it's setting default settings. It's updating the script. It's building the container. Then it's showing your IP and port. And if you go back over here, you'll go to the install directory. And you see that what it's actually installing. Um, installing dependencies. It's installing the HomeBridge repository. Then it's installing the uh, HomeBridge with that app get install. Then it's uh, an SSH key and then get auto remove and auto clean. So clean it up after itself. So it looks like it's doing everything that I would do. So um, you can do this manually too, but I'm going to just use the script, save time. And we're going to go over to here and we're going to copy this. This is the script that you'll be running and you just saw that just a minute ago in the GitHub. Um, so it'll be running on 855.81. Yeah. 8.581. Okay, now let's go over to Proxmox. You'll go over to your shell. Make sure you're in your node, and then shell, and then clear that out. And then we're going to paste in the script that we just copied from the helper script site. And that will be in the description so you can get to it fast. So let's go ahead and install it. So this will create a homebridge XLC proceed, yes. So use the default settings, I'm gonna say yes. Um, you're gonna need to set a static IP and not use uh, DHCP. Um, I would recommend that highly. Um, and you can set that up in your router uh, under static IP or IP reservation. or um, And then you put your MAC address in for, for this container. And then uh, you'll link it to an IP that's not in the pool of DHCP. So 
It's setting up the Homebridge repository like we've seen over in the GitHub. Installing the Homebridge now. It did allocate an IP. It resolved the github.com IP address. Okay, now it's cleaning up. Okay, it gave us a IP to work with. So let's copy that and go to the IP. Okay, now welcome to Homebridge. Get started. You can also restore from backup if you have one. But let's get started. Okay, now you're going to create an account. Just name mine Big Bear. This instance will not even stay up. So, just an example. So, just use a simple password and create an account right here. And then this uh, setup procedure is complete. You're now ready to start using Homebridge. Congratulations. And then let's open dashboard. You can see that it's in a nice control panel. It's got the CPU, it's got the memory, it's got the uptime of what it's been in, and you got your QR code to set it up in your iOS device on your home app. You can see system information down here, and you can go to plugins up here, and you can just type ring, and um, always look for verified, um, and you can click install. It'll go through installing it. Then it'll ask you to link your ring account. You can do that. But it's installed. And um, then you got your config of what you've installed. You can go restore it. You can download it. And you can save it when you make changes. Um, so let's go to accessories. As you start adding more and more plugins in, you can see your accessories right here and be able to group them by room. And um, you can view the logs of what it's doing. Then you can also uh, restart it. You can go to the terminal, have full terminal access. Then you can um, go to your Homebridge settings. You can change your MDNS advertiser. You can change to, to Bonjour, Avahi, System, and then CO. Um, and then Network Interfaces, you can change that. So you can save that. And um, you can turn on debug mode. You can see the environment variables, debug. You can edit them. You can reset it. Unpair bridges, reset home bridge accessory, remove single cached accessory, remove all cached accessories, and then force service restart. Whenever you do anything with home bridge and saw on plugins or anything like that, you'll go up to this restart button right here and you'll restart and it's restarting home bridge now. I clicked it. And this will take a bit, but it shouldn't take too long with being on a Small installation like this. Okay, now it's back up. You can see I'm on 1.6.1. You might be on a different version than I am when you're looking at this video. You can go to your UI settings. You can change your UI settings right here. Change your language. Looks like they do have a REST app. API and you can see that they have swagger docs so you can go in there and look at the API if you want to. User accounts, you can set up two-factor authentication, you can edit it, you can change your password, you can change from admin user, you can go add, add user up here. Then you can go ahead and log out anytime you want to. So that's how to install Homebridge on Proxmox. So today I've showed you how to install Homebridge on Proxmox. This makes it to where you can dedicate resources on Proxmox to your Homebridge server. And um, and if you like uh, this series on creating a smart home, uh, subscribe, comment, like. And if you have any questions or concerns, comment. And you can also join the Big Bear community. Uh, over on Discord. So it's going to be linked in the description. So peace out.
Thanks for watching.